expand the dengue syndrome or isolated organopathy like the unusual manifestations the patients with the dengue illnesses can sometimes develop unusual manifestations such as the involvement of the liver kidneys brain heart with or without evidence of fluid leakage and therefore do not necessarily fall into the category of dhf these conditions are very rare and management is symptomatic such unusual manifestations may be associated with co-infections and comorbidities however these manifestations have seen in dhf are mostly a result of prolonged shock yes these are prolonged shock leading to organ failure so that can be yes you can see the the organs head to toe with the neurological gastrointestinal renal cardiac respiratory musculoskeletal and lymphoreticular system and eyes and others in neurological you'll see the febrile seizure in the young children encephalopathy encephalitis the septic meningitis intracranial hemorrhages thrombosis subdurally effusions mononeuropathies polyneuropathies even a guillain berry syndrome even a transverse myelitis gastrointestinal in the form of hepatitis Fulminant hepatic failure, acute colitis cholecystitis, acute pancreatitis, high blood of Pierce patches, and acute pyelitis. Renal in the form of acute renal failure, hemolytic uremic syndrome, cardiac conduction abnormalities, myocarditis. Yes, it's a dangerous matter. Myocarditis that can lead to the death. My dear, here's a pericarditis and respiratory syndrome with the ERDS with acute respiratory distress syndrome and pulmonary hemorrhage, musculoskeletal like the myositis. With the rhabdomyolysis, with the base CVK, and lymphoreticular system infections, it has the hemophagocytic syndrome, like the hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis syndrome, and idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, or spontaneous splenic rupture and lymph node infarctions, eye macular hemorrhage, impaired visual acuity, optic neuritis, and other post infarctions, spectrophoric syndrome, hallucinations, depression, psychosis, and alopecia. So these are the dengue expanded syndrome. Among them, I just highlighted here the cardiac and brain. Just remember my dear, brain and heart, brain and heart. So brain the form of encephalitis, encephalitis, at least, and in the heart you see the myocarditis. So the differential diagnosis we should think about, or rather always thinking about the dengue. Yes, our virus is the chikungunya virus. And other virus illness like the measles, rubella, other viral xanthomas, Epstein Barr virus, enterovirus, is influenza, hepatitis A, hunter virus, and bacterial diseases like the meningococcemia. Here's the leptospirosis, typhoid, meliodiosis, rickettsial disease, scarlet fever, sepsis, malaria.